It's one of the world's most iconic brands, one that denotes luxury, that promises sheer driving pleasure and the ultimate driving experience. But for some owners of certain BMW models, this experience is closer to the reality. An extended visit to the garage, an engine that needs to be rebuilt, and a bill that's likely to break the bank. Dan Greenwood bought his BMW 320D in 2011. Although it had done 100,000 miles, it came with a full service history. And of course, the BMW name gave him confidence. Wrongly, as it turned out. In December, just before Christmas, I was driving to work um, with my children in the car and the car cut out uh, in slow moving traffic. So it wasn't being driven hard, it just cut out. Dan called out a recovery service. They rescued him and his family from the road, but then delivered some very bad news. The guy that came out said, in his opinion, uh, it could be a problem with the timing chain. Lots of moving parts combine to drive a car forward and they must all work in perfect harmony. Harmony that's maintained by the timing chain. If this vital component fails, it spells disaster for the engine and big money for the owner. The more he was speaking, the more dread I was being filled with uh, as he was telling me that potentially it was going to be quite an expensive repair uh, and quite a long repair. I spoke to a BMW dealership and I was told it could cost us £10,000 to replace. Other owners have been getting similar bills. Owners of BMW's 1, 3 and 5 series models. Some have much lower mileage than Dan's car, but all were fitted with the N47 engine and all were built between 2007 and 2009. This 2007 One Series car broke down in London four weeks ago. Was it due to the same failure as the others? Expert engineer John De Beck agrees to take a look. A task that proves to be complicated and lengthy. The very, very sad thing about this is the position of the chain. It's positioned at the back of the engine. And to put things right is a massive job. It's engine out, a complete strip down. It's the equivalent of open heart surgery. It's that bad. So my interpretation of BMW putting this chain mechanism at the back of the engine, that to me is a statement. It's a statement that says this chain, this drive mechanism, is built to last the life of the engine or the car. It's non-serviceable. It's got longevity written all over it. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Once the engine has finally been removed, John finds the evidence. Well, what's happened with this engine is, you can see this, it's, it's, it's loose. Something's failed in this timing chain mechanism. We need to strip it, but I'll bet my mortgage that it's caused some catastrophic damage to this engine. Typically, such damage results in the engine failing and the driver experiencing a sudden loss of power. Exactly what happened to Anthony Staples as he and his wife returned from holiday in their 2007 5 Series. Basically, we were travelling along the M4 uh, near Slough, outside lane, doing 70, poodling along as you do. All of a sudden, boom, no power. All the lights are coming up on the dash. And my wife's like, oh my God, what's happened, what's happened? The car's not working, nothing from the engine. No braking, no power steering, you know, everything seems to have gone. It's quite terrifying. My wife, fortunately, had the common sense to guide us across with a hard shoulder. Both myself and my wife were a bit shaken up. You know, as you can imagine, you know, one minute, all the traffic's going along nicely, next minute you're on a hard shoulder, thinking, what's just happened? Answer, the timing chain had failed, resulting in a bill for Anthony of over three and a half thousand pounds. We've also heard from Peter Devlin, who had to meet the full cost of rebuilding the engine in his 5 Series. Roger Walkden had to pay over four thousand pounds to get his 3 Series back on the road. And when Barry Island's chain snapped on his 1 Series, BMW did meet some of the cost, but that still left him facing a bill of nearly five thousand pounds. In most of the cases we've heard about, BMW have offered only limited or no financial help. The cars may have been out of BMW's warranty, but the owners and our experts believe the company still has a responsibility to put right a weakness in their engines. Now taking all of this into account, what should BMW be doing? In my view, BMW should take it on the chin. They should say, look, our engines aren't designed to fail. 
if they have failed, let's go and put it right at no cost to the vehicle owner, provided they've had its service regularly. In the meantime, drivers who put their trust in such a respected name are finding that their confidence was misplaced. At the end of the day, BMW didn't want to know, so I was kind of left out on a limb. All of a sudden, a vehicle that I assumed was you know, German engineering at its finest had let me down badly.